Ladies and gentlemen, meet the cheapest new car in America. In fact, we bought it for just $5,000. Now, it is electric. It is also the least reliable car in America because it's left us stranded twice over the last two weeks. It is also poorly made and has the lowest range, or about 59 miles. But the question is, is it fast? Well, today we're gonna prove that, and I've got the test driver for the job, except it being winter, Jess just worked his way through an entire blueberry patch, so he's not feeling very well. But instead, I've got somebody better. Nathan! Yes? Are you okay to have Jeff as your test car driver? Oh, he's had a long night, hasn't he? Yeah, why don't you, uh, why don't you put him in the passenger seat, and then we'll see what other cars are going to be drag racing against him. All right. All right, now to find out if the candy is indeed fast or not, we've asked Andre and Tommy to bring two other vehicles, in fact, two other slow vehicles. So I wonder what Andre has brought. And dare I say, we now know. Oh yeah. Did they paint the car onto his body? <laughs> that is indeed a slow car. And just like the candy, a people's car. Ideal for the upcoming drag race. Andre, what did you bring my man? Oh, I brought a gem. This is the Fiat 500, the Cinquecento, the original 1971. All right, I wonder what Tommy brought. Well, look at that. He brought a French car. That's not fair, no. Is that du chavo? Oui. Oh, it's falling over. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it, it's still falling over. It's still falling over. It's not falling over. This is the Citroën du Chavot, one of the most iconic people's cars of all time. And Andre and I are taking on Nathan in a series of performance tests. You know, he went to uh, French 1 and 2 in high school, but I will say that. <laughs> yeah, I, I've been working on that too. Citron, Macron, Croissant. Pretty good, right? How about you, Andre? Try. You I, uh, ciao. No, no, no. No, no, that's the Italian. Car. The name of the car. Oh. No, I have a Fiat Cinquecento. All right, let's not, uh, <laughs> sorry. Yeah, that's horrible, Andre. Sorry. Yeah, that's terrible. The Citroën de Chevaux, the 2CV, France's iconic people's car with two cylinders, 602 cc's that make 29 horsepower. This car mobilized post-war France, and I think it's got a good shot of taking down both of these two. Now, it's pretty obvious that this vehicle, well, it's not built in the United States. As a matter of fact, it's built in China. And the only place that they imported them to initially was Texas. But we have it here in Colorado. And you know what we have? We have 61 horsepower. <laughs> we have, it's really hard to say this with a straight face, we have a range of 59 miles with a 17 kilowatt hour battery, an LFP. So if you're looking at this vehicle and thinking, well, that's so much more power than these other two cars, you're right. But Jeff and I are in here and it does have a fairly heavy battery. And it's not as aerodynamic as the other two, so it might be a close race. It's not going to be close. I'm going to win. I'll bet you that I can go more than 59 miles in my Fiat 500. It has a five gallon fuel tank and I can hug it. It's so tiny, but 500 means really the displacement of the engine. And I have 18 horsepower, which is not a lot. Uh, and. Uh, Yes, I'm pretty comfy in there, but I'm gonna might be slow. If you need any starting fluid, uh, cylinder lubricant, I have some. Thank you, I have all the lubricant I need. All right, folks, the moment we've all been waiting for. We've got two legends versus a legendary pile of junk. Nathan, you really think you have a chance against these European people's cars? I have all the horsepower, I have all the tech, I have maximum torque at zero RPM. You guys do not stand a chance, even with big guys like Jeff and I in the vehicle, seriously. I think that the French is gonna win today because it's just the best. It's got the best design, it's got the best suspension, it's just an icon that cannot be beaten. So let's do this. We're gonna do parking brakes off. I got the four speed manual. Nathan, are you going to sport mode? Yeah, that's the S down here, right? It's not for anything else, like escargot. 
That, that's the sport mode, my friend. So we're going to line up. And Andre, we got to prove, prove to the world that these icons are better than that pile of junk. Tommy, do I have three speeds or four? Four, oh, baby! That's an advanced automobile! Come on, 2CV. Now, even look at that. The VIN says China in the middle. So there's no doubt, like Nathan said, where this came from. But there's something else interesting about this. The speedometer says 80 miles an hour top speed. Now what Jeff knows, and I know, but Nathan doesn't, is that the car is actually limited to only 35 miles an hour. So this should be an interesting drag race. with this car it will not go over 35 freaking miles per hour well nathan candy may or may not have actually um, um completed the u.s safety standards as if they didn't to make it a real car so that my friend you're driving is technically a neighborhood electric vehicle and therefore limited to 35 so you lost big time my buddy you guys freaking knew we we may have known a little bit here and there yeah that that thing is not only ugly and unreliable and slow um, but it's also limited to 35. Guys, I will have you know that I reached um, quarter mile in 32 seconds at 41.8 miles per hour. I made my quarter mile in 30.94 at 32 miles per hour. It wasn't even going 35. Guys, this 2CV, this is a 30 second car. This is a quick automobile compared to those other two. But the most important thing is that at least I beat Nathan, but Andre, we gotta give you a redemption round. We're gonna do a roll race. Let's be honest, none of these cars can really get up to 35 or 40 miles an hour all that easily. So we're gonna do a roll race from 10. <laughs> we'll see uh, if Andre, maybe you can catch up to Nathan. Hey, if you guys are wondering, why are we racing two classic European cars against a brand new Chinese electric car? Well, the answer is simple. It's for fun. What a pile of garbage that candy is. Unreal. I'm glad that they never took off here in the States because they are just such bad little cars. Hey Tommy, uh, this uh, Fiat, it was pretty violent. I I uh, let go of the clutch, it engaged immediately, and I think I spun my tire for like a millisecond, and then there was no power after that. Yeah, my dude, you left, uh, well, it's not really an 11 in that car, it's more of a, a, a lowercase one, but you did technically, yeah, you, you technically beat the, you took the first foot off the line for sure. Andre, this one is all for you. I'm hoping that at least for Italy, we can take a win for the Fiat. Yes. I'm hoping the same thing. 
Alright, here we go. So it's starting to roll off here. Start moving. Okay, get all lined up. That's good. That's a good speed. That's about 15. Andre's taking off. Okay, guys. In three, two, one, go. That's it. That's all I got. Come on. Yes, you can do it. Man, that candy. Look at that torque. There's Andre! In the third! Foot's all the way down. It's not even 35, it's like 34. I'm taking the candy! Andre's still back there! Oh yeah, look at the speed! Almost 80 kilometers an hour! You can do it! I'm gaining on him! Yes! Yes! Bye bye! Look what you did! Look what you did! I think we finally beat him with both cars! And across the line! This car has way more power. This limited... Well, stuff. Yes, Italy is victorious! You came in second, bro. Andre! You did Italy proud, my friend. You did it. Your, your final speed must have been at least 40 miles an hour. This whole event has been remarkably rigged. I call, I can't say anything because Roman will not agree with me, but I, I still call shenanigans. All right, folks, so we're gonna go to Nathan's top speed of 35. We usually do these from 60 miles an hour, these brake tests, but let's be honest, none of these cars are gonna do 60 to mile of sea level. Um, and then we'll hit the brakes, and we'll see if maybe Nathan can win one. This one's all for Nathan. So we're gonna all hit 35, and then once we get to the cones at the far end, we're all gonna hit the brakes at the cones. Copy that. No, I got a little more. I was just waiting for Andre. Okay, here we go. That's everything we got. Keep it nice and level. And hit the brakes at the cones. Come on, 2CB. Blam, blam! Blam, blam! I won! Okay, well. I mean, it, there's not that much in, in between them because we were only going 35, but technically Nathan won. I mean, this was pretty brutal. My, my car even went sideways under braking. <laughs> Look how big your hand is on that door. <laughs> Hello? So are you saying, Andre, in, in the event of an emergency, let's, guys, let's pretend that you were to have a crash in either of the three. Which of the uh, three would you rather have a crash in? I've got official training airbags. Yeah, Nathan. Uh, I have no crumple zones, almost. Your feet, your feet are the crumple zones. You can take it. Yes. Nobody would hit a French car, it's bright yellow, it's basically a traffic cone, perfectly safe. I would take the Citroen in an accident. Wait, wait, what? I mean, okay, it's goofy, it's small, but it has actual airbags in it. That's Come on. True. And, and, they almost passed, almost passed a, um, you know, t test here in the States to make it legal. Holy cow, Nathan. Guess how many feet? Uh, 30. You're exactly right, 30 feet. <laughs> wow. I finally got something right. So, um, the candy is actually good at something. Not only that, but this actually makes a good surface for drumming, and I was doing the drum beat for I Want Candy from Bow Wow Wow. Well, maybe the 14s, you know, you got, you got the fattest tires here. Yeah. Let's face it, guys. This video is really all about value for your dollar. So, Andre, how much was the Cinquecento? Well, it was very, well, um, not so affordable, it's $17,000, but it's beautiful condition. All right, and Tommy, how about the Ducheveau? Well, it was also about 17,000, once again, fully restored. And Nathan, 
The cheapest car, new car in America, how much? Well, 12,000 to start, however, we got it at auction for 5,000 bucks. So for once, Nathan isn't over budget. And uh, as always, you get what you pay for. <laughs> uh, it stops really good. <laughs> it does stop, stop really stops good. Stops great. It's still the crappiest car you can buy. I got air conditioning, pal. <laughs> yeah. All right, you Doesn't got air conditioning. Though. And you guys got sunroofs. See you guys next time. Ciao.